I'm going to Berlin for a business trip soon and I thought of bringing you with me to show what I do over there as well as what I eat over there which is what I'm very excited about. This city is just crazy. There are hundreds of fun things to do per day. You have bar, you have clubs, you have good food, you have entertaining things. That's Berlin style. And the best part for me is that there is a very big Vietnamese community in Berlin. So the food, the Vietnamese food in Berlin, it just hits different. So yeah, I'm super excited for the trip. It's gonna be super fun. We're going to my favorite place in Berlin today. It's a very big shopping center and they have literally everything a Vietnamese need to survive here. Food, clothes, fruit, everything. Ta-da! So welcome to Dong Sun Center, my favorite place on earth. Let's go. There is no crosswalk here, as usual in Berlin. But don't worry, honey, hold my hand. I'm gonna bring you to the other side safely. You just need to be confident and you just need to walk. So here's an overview of this place. There is several giant houses and each house is like a small shopping mall. At the beginning, the, like the outside of the houses, there will be several restaurants. And basically, that's it. So here is one of the buildings. They call it Halle. What is Halle mean, honey? Oh. Ah, they call it one of the hall. There's like 10 of them, I would say. Let's go. They have a lot of Vietnamese supermarket inside this hall, and I love them. Really, really authentic. I don't know how they make it, but they managed to have a lot of crazy stuff that you only can find in Vietnam here. And you can never find them in the other Vietnamese supermarket in other cities in Germany as well. That's Berlin style. Mm, do you want fake flowers? You can have it here too. <laughs> this is a very typical Vietnamese stall. You barely have any space to walk. And if you're not careful enough, you're going to knock something down. <laughs> it's like a maze. Come, honey. Fruit, fruit, fruit. I must say that most items here are pretty cheap. I just saw these kind of tons of shirts for like 5 euros and all of these pants and dress are just 10 euros each. Really, really cheap. Here you can find all of the offerings for the death people as well. We would burn money so that they can have money to use in the afterlife. We also burn gold, silver and cars and house too, but I don't see it here. This is a Korean drink and it's made from roasted rice and I love it. And this is Yuen style to open a bottle. I used to drink it a lot in Vietnam, but somehow I cannot find them in Germany. So I'm very glad to find it again. I think you need to shake it. Ah, no, it tastes good. Yes, oh, I love it. It's finally lunchtime, and I just walked to the nearest restaurant. The name of it is Duc Anh, and it is just in one of the hall. Honestly, I think most of the restaurants here has to taste pretty good in order to survive here. So I have no worry about going to which restaurant. I just choose a random one. It's very noisy. I feel like I'm home again. <laughs> this is banana flower salad. You know that banana has flour and you can eat them. They just cut them into small pieces, mix them with sauce and peanut. And that's it. Yum, 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 yum. In case you don't know what this is, it's garlic soaked in vinegar. <laughs> I'm not gonna meet anyone today, so I'm gonna eat tons of garlic because it's super good. And this is noodle soup with chicken and bamboo. I love it. I asked them to switch from rice noodle to this kind of see-through noodle. I shouldn't have done that, but it's still good. So I have iced coffee, Vietnamese coffee, very, very good. Haven't tried it yet, but I already know that it's good. I have lime juice, fresh lime juice. I have a small soup, chicken soup, and I have duck in peanut sauce. That's not so authentic, but I still like it. Very tender and crispy very very yummy. I also got bamboo but I don't like bamboo but luckily I know someone who does. Ah, uh, 
But I don't like peanut sauce. She does. I don't want it. I'm full. It was good. One minute later. Maybe she's not that full yet. It's spicy. 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 A few moments later. And yes, we are eating again. We're moving to the next restaurant here because I want to try more stuff. This is rice cake. You steam the rice powder with water and eat them with Vietnamese sausage. This is a very popular breakfast in Vietnam. I love it and it's very hard to make, I would say. If you don't have a skill, it's pretty hard to make, so I'm glad to find it here. So here you have the rice cake. You dip it into the fish sauce. It's good. So the reason why I'm in Berlin this time is because I was invited to go to a Google Pixel event. They didn't ask me to make this video. I just want to keep you guys updated about what I'm doing. They just launched a new phone, the Google Pixel 7a, and they even gave me one. <laughs> and uh, they asked me to go to the event and experience the phone. And I filmed some footage about it. And you guys can see a little bit of the glamorous part of being a content creator. It's 3 p.m. in the afternoon, very random time, but I'm hungry, so we're going to the next restaurant. I did not expect to see a place like this in the middle of Berlin. Wow, wow, wow. I think they did a really good job with the design. It literally looked like a Vietnamese backyard in Vietnam. I feel like home here. So this is everything that we order, mostly dessert and one salad as well. I just noticed that this is properly the food from the south of Vietnam, I'm from the north, so even for me as a Vietnamese, they look really interesting. It's Vietnamese eggplant. It's crunchy. This one is made from mango and uh, coconut milk, I would say. <gasps> it's sticky rice with mango. Interesting. I had mango sticky rice very often in Thailand and that's where you find the best mango sticky rice. This one is okay. This is a pandan panna cotta with strawberry on it. It tastes a little bit like cream brulee, soft, also like matcha. This might not be pandan at all, it might be matcha. Even for me as a Vietnamese, all of the food are very, very interesting. The pandan cake goes with 9 out of 10. I actually really liked it, although it was hard to eat. The mango sticky rice goes with 8 out of 10. And the pandan was not so nice, that goes with 6 out of 10. But my Vietnamese coffee is very, very good and goes with 10 out of 10. Just like in Vietnam, actually. One hour later. Frozen yogurt! Do you ever stop eating? It's 10 p.m. in the evening and I cannot believe I said this but my body managed to give me some spray in the belly for a late night snack today. Normally, I don't think we can eat that much but it's like my body knows that we are in Berlin. This is sugar cane juice. They basically just squeeze the juice of the sugar cane out, put some uh, kamquat and that's it. And I love it in Vietnam. I drink it very often. It's very hard to find it in Germany. I'm glad they have it. And it's actually very fresh because when you try to have sugar cane in Germany, sometimes they have like the frozen one and then they squeeze the water out of it. It tastes a bit weird, but this one is fresh. So this is roasted oyster. My friend once made it for me in Vietnam. And I still remember it till this day. It was the best oyster, roasted oyster I have ever tasted in my life. It's fresh, it tastes like oyster. <laughs> I like it. I'm just not sure if it's too heavy for me for dinner, for like late night snack though. 
very good. Whenever we visit Berlin, there is always one store that we have to go to. It's a vegan donut place where they sell yeah vegan donut, but surprisingly, it tastes better than normal donut. I don't know how they make it. The store called Brahmi Bowl. My boyfriend is a big fan of it. There is no Brahmi Bowl in Mannheim, so we can only eat it whenever we're here. So I have four Brahmi Bowl and one Frappuccino or Frappe. I never drink it before. Mm. Ta da! Let's open it and try it out. This is birthday cake flavor with vanilla and vegan butter. This is with, uh, what is it with, honey? This is rhubarb. This is Bienenstich, that's a German cake style with honey and cream and almond. And this is apple pie. Thank you, honey. <laughs> I only bought this cake because of the name. It's called birthday cake and I love birthday cake. So I'm very curious what it tastes like inside. I'm still not in the middle yet. I took the cream up here off because it's too sweet for me. Mmm. Okay. Definitely have some of the birthday cake taste. I think this is buttercream. I don't know how they make it vegan though. Is that vegan butter? Interesting. I have very low sugar tolerance. So if I eat like a bit too much sugar, I would be high as a kite. I would get dizzy and disoriented. So I forgot my microphone. I hope you still can hear me. We are walking around Berlin and we wanted to go to a museum, the, what is it? Ilu? Museum. Ilu Museum. It's like museum. a place which is super trippy and you get in and you, there's a lot of interesting things inside. And I want to check it out. Let's go. There is something that I drank almost every week in Vietnam, but I couldn't really have it in Germany often. It's boba tea. I mean, in Mannheim where I lived, it's pretty hard to find one, like the good one, but Berlin is different. I bet you, you can find boba tea, good one, everywhere in Berlin. I just found a random boba shop over there. We are going to go there and get one, and I promise it's gonna be good anyway. Mm. This is cream brulee. And that one, what is it? Mango and peach. Both very nice. Can I have one? Thank you. You're so generous. <laughs> so yeah, that is basically my Berlin trip. Eating and drinking non-stop. He wants to say hi too. We are in Potsdam now, already move on to the next city. I think I will wrap up the video now. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.